The height in centimeters of a candle is a linear function of the amount of time in hours it has been burning. When graphed, the function gives a line with a slope of negative 0.6. See figures below, and this is the figure. Suppose that the height of the candle after 14 hours is 21.6. What was the height of the candle after 11 hours? So, we can um, graph this. They give us two points. So, this is the height in centimeter. And this is the time in hours. And they give us two points. So, when it's um, 14 hours, so this is 14. It's um, 21.6. So, 21. Point six. So this is the point fourteen, comma twenty one point six. Now they also give us this point. So what was the height of the candle after eleven hours? So eleven hours. So it's about right here. So eleven. So they want to know. What is this um, point? So, what is the height in centimeters? So, this is 11, comma. So, this is y1. So, this is, so they give us two points. So, we just have to find y1. So, now they give us the slope. The slope, m is equal to negative 0.6. So now the um, formula for slope is m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So they give us m negative 0 0.6 is equal to y2. So this is going to be our point 0.1 and this is point 0.2. So 21.6 minus y1 which is we don't know. But that's what we're looking for over x2 which is 14 minus 11 so now we solve for y1 so this is 0. 0.6 is equal to 21.6 minus y1 over 14 minus 11 is 3 so now we can um cross multiply so cross multiply so we have negative 0 0.6 times 3 is equal to 21.6 minus y1. So 0 0.6 is 1.8.6 times 3 is 1.8. So let's do it here. Minus so, minus 1.8 is equal to 21.6 minus y1. So, and then we subtract 4 minus 21.6. So, we have um, 21.6. Plus 1.8 is 23.4. So my, minus 23.4 is equal to negative y1. And then we multiply it by a minus 1. So y1 is equal to positive 23.4. So the height of the candle after 11 hours is 23.4 centimeter. So 23.4 centimeter is the answer.